here is a short tutorial to show you what I think is the best way to add text to videos in Shotcut. Now first of all I'm going to tell you I'm using Shotcut version 19.0816. Now first of all I'm going to open Other and select Text. Now this box appears and it says Type or Paste Text here. Now you could just type in some text but I'm going to do something optional. I've prepared a notepad file with some text on it. I'm also running a program called TurboTop and I've set it up so that notepad stays on top always which is very useful. Now I'm going to copy this text here by using Ctrl C and I'm going to paste it into the box with Ctrl V. Click on OK. Now I'm going to split this line by selecting the middle part of the sentence in the text field and pressing return. You can position the text any way you like by clicking and moving the middle button and you can change the size of the boundary box. I'm going to click off use font size and you can see that the text resizes as you drag. To help you center the text you could use the grid icon. This is a 2x2 grid but you can choose smaller grid sizes to allow better positioning. For instance that's the 4x4 grid and that's a 16 by 16 grid. Now I've decided to use font size for my text to make sure it comes out consistently throughout the video. I'll set it to a size of 60 pixels. Notice that's the maximum size. The text will go smaller if you decrease the size of the boundary box but no larger than 60 pixels. Right, I'm happy with that so I'll click off the grid and drag from the preview pane to the timeline. I press play to preview now in case you're wondering the boundary box won't appear on the exported video. If you click on another clip while you play the boundary box will disappear. Now if you want you can adjust the amount of thickness of the outline of the text. For the moment though I think I'll leave it as one but here's what happens if you put it a little bit bigger. Next I'm going to add a fade in and fade out to make my text look a bit classy. To do this I double click on the small black circles on the top left and top right of the clip. And I need to select adjust opacity instead of fade with black on both the fade in and fade out. Next I'm going to copy that and paste it next to the original. Then copy the next bit of text and paste it into the text field using Ctrl V. And then basically I just repeat the process. So I copy this and I paste it onto the timeline and change the text again. Then I think I'll do one more. Position these next to each other and preview. It looks really good. Then I just prepare for export, select export file and save it as an mp4 and this is the final result. this helps. Thanks for watching.